Okay, so today's recipe or for today's supper, we are doing mince, which is kima. Um, we are gonna do it with peas and we're gonna do some aloo fry on the side. I've got wagyu mince that's here. This is wagyu lean mince. And what we're going to do is we're going to marinate it and prep it first. I've got a few ingredients that are ready here. I've got a kg of um, wagyu lean mince. This is from Zingela. I've got some spices that are ready here. So for the spices, we've got some ginger powder, garlic powder. You can obviously use fresh ginger, fresh garlic also if you want. We've got Kriya Sikh Kebab here. We've got some turmeric powder here. We've got garam masala here. We're going to add some Kashmiri chili towards the end. But first up first, we are going to start marinating the mince. We're going to marinate the mince. The mince is not washed. Please remember not to wash your mince. It's just going to release a whole lot of uh, liquid. So we're going to get started with marinating the mince. And the oil that I'm going to use to marinate the mince is going to be mustard oil. Mustard oil is going to give really nice earthy flavor to this mince. It's going to make it really nice and earthy. That's what the flavor of the mustard oil is. If you don't have mustard oil, you can use normal oil, but prefer to use mustard oil. So we're going to start marinating into the mince. I'm going to go in with some mustard oil. This is about, about just under four tablespoons of mustard oil. We're also going to go in with a few spices. I'm going to go in with ginger powder. You can use fresh, like I said, fresh ginger or ginger powder. We're going to go in with some garlic powder as well. Equal measurements, if you are using Kriya ginger powder and garlic powder, it's going to be equal measurements. So I've got in about a tablespoon of each. I'm also going to go in with some Sikh kebab spice. This is two heaped tablespoons, two and a half actually, of Kriya uh, Sikh kebab spice, as well as about just about a quarter teaspoon or so of the garam masala. We are also going to go in with fresh coriander. Along with that, I am going to go in with about two tablespoon of double cream yogurt. This is also gonna make it nice and moist and some freshly chopped green chilies. Right, so all of that along with some salt, we are going to mix this up and leave it to marinate for about so guys, so we've marinated the mince and kept it aside for a little bit. We're going to get started um, with the base in the meantime. So I'm going to use some ghee here. Um, I love using delicious, delicious ghee. Um, they actually make this ghee with malai instead of making it with butter. So it's really, you can taste the difference. You can definitely taste the difference. Yeah. We've got some onions that's finely chopped here. We're going to use that. And we've got some whole spices. A few of the whole spices. I've got some bay leaves here. I've got some black pepper and I've got some green cardamom here. So we're going to allow this onions to get lightly golden brown on medium heat. And then once the onions are kind of like um, lightly golden brown, we're going to go in with um, our mince and the rest of our few spices. Okay, so the onions are in. We're gonna lightly just brown them. Um, in here, I'm going to go in at this stage with my whole spices as well. I've got some black pepper here, green cardamom and bay leaves. All of that going in and we're going to wait till the onions are nicely golden brown. Okay, so we've gently been browning our onions. I used chopped onions because I really don't want the onions, finely chopped onions. This is about one onion and I really didn't want the onions to sort of come, you know, like appear in my mouth so i wanted it to be really done finely okay and also at this stage just remember to brown your onions in this particular dish for the onions we really want it to be nicely golden brown so once it's golden brown we're going to go in with our marinated mince and we're going to cook that on high heat first we want to sear it we want to give it color and we want to add flavor so now that the onions look something like this, we are going to go in with the marinated mince and we're going to crank up the heat and cook this while we stir it nicely for a good five to seven minutes.
All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna do this on high heat. This is gonna help us feel the flavor. And it's also gonna ensure that we don't lose all the juices at this stage. Um, because if we do end up, if this mint ends up releasing water at this stage, that's when you're losing all the flavors and you're going to keep on cooking the meat to dry off the water, which just shows that we're going to end up losing all the flavors, all the juices, right? So we're going to do this on high heat for about 10, to 10 minutes or so till I've given it nice color. And then we're going to go in with a few other spices. So I'm going to go in with some turmeric powder, little shmiri chili towards the end only. Um, we're going to check for seasoning and see if we need some more sticks about spice. And when we're done sealing it, I'm going to add a little bit of fresh tomato puree and we're going to leave it to cook for a few minutes. Right, so I'm going to go in with a little bit of salt because salt is short. I just checked, I taste it for seasoning. Still on high heat. We're also going to go in with some turmeric powder. So I'm obviously using the organic turmeric powder. About half of a teaspoon. All right. And we're going to keep on stirring. Also going to go in with another half of a teaspoon of the sweet kebab spice. Um, so guys, I like it's very difficult for me to work with exact measurements. Like I always say, always, always say taste, season, and cook. I'm really one of those old school, the thing I can't, that's why it's so difficult for me to put up recipes. Right, now that we've done with this, we're going to go in with just about a quarter cup or so of freshly ground tomato puree. It's a peeled tomatoes, we've made it into a puree. I'm gonna add it in here, put the heat down, put the lid on and leave it to cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. Right, so we're bringing the heat down. We're going to give it a mix. This will just make it nice and moist and juicy. We neither want it too loose to masala and we don't want it to dry. Also, I'm going to put up a charcoal. I'm going to give it some charcoal smoke. It's going to add to all the flavors that we've got going on here. I'm going to make it nice and earthy. So bringing the heat down at this stage, putting the lid on and leaving it to cook for about 10 minutes. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be serving this with aloo fry, then crispy potatoes. I've got potatoes here. We peel them, wash them really, really well. Make sure there's no starch in your potatoes. Otherwise, they're not going to end up getting, getting crispy. I've used a mandolin here with this setting to slice my potatoes. That's what I've used. We're going to do all the potatoes, wash it once again and soak it in cold water. Um, I'm going to fill this bowl up. This is the size of the bowl. I'm going to fill this bowl up and roughly throw in about a quarter cup of vinegar and leave it to soak for a good few hours. This will ensure it ends up getting even more crispier. On this side, I've put up the charcoal and um, we're going to allow this charcoal to burn nicely. Then we're going to smoke the mince with the charcoal. So it's going to give it a really nice charcoal. Potatoes will sit in this um, mixture of water and vinegar for a good few hours. Then we'll drain it and we'll half fry it and keep it ready. The last fry will be just before we serve so We've left this to cook on low heat for about 15 minutes or so. We're going to remove the lid. And now it's just the finishing touches that we need to do. So I'm going to add peas in here because peas and mince is such a beautiful combination. Um, all right, so we've got some Kashmiri chili here. Um, the garam masala, I've just left it here in case I need to add a little bit. The charcoal is on. We're going to smoke it with the charcoal. Um, the reason why we like to add our Kashmiri chili towards the very end is the color factor. If you add it too early on, even in your curries and that, if you add your chili powder too early on in some of the dishes, when it cooks, cooks, it doesn't end up giving us that beautiful, vibrant color that we want, um, especially in like wedding food and egg food that we find. It's got like a beautiful red color that, that try right so which is what you find in daily food um the red color if you add it towards the end okay i am going in with a little bit of dried fenugreek leaves um which is what we call kasuri methi in um urdu and hindi as well 
also works very very well with mints i've added a little bit i was trying to video it and it didn't shoot first time around but anyway this is about half of a teaspoon of fenugreek leaves that's in here now i'm going to add my green peas um, I like to add my green peas towards the end as well so that it doesn't end up losing its flavor and color. And we are going to go in with just about a quarter of a teaspoon of the Kashmiri chili. At this stage, we'll add the peas and we'll smoke um, like how we normally smoke with our food. On second thoughts, what I'm going to do is I'm going to charcoal smoke it first and then add my peas because I'm so, I really, really don't like it when my veggies lose their color. I like them green and vibrant. So we're going to add the peas towards the very end. We're first going to charcoal. What we're going to do it. with the charcoal, this is just normal bright charcoal. The one for the hookahs won't work. You have to use the normal bright charcoal and you need to have a gas stove, basically. Um, we're going to take this and you can use foil. What we use is a little container like this. I don't know where I got it from. It's one of those old stuff. We're going to lift this thing up and put this in the pot throw a little bit of ghee on top just one drop or two and obviously that will release the smoke that's infused with charcoal and that will give it okay, so that's flavor. our charcoal that's our ghee you can see and pop the lid out straight away i'm actually going to put a, a cloth over it so that we end up catching the smoke as much as we can All right, guys, so that's our fries done or aloo fry done. We're going to season it with some chaat masala and salt while it's hot. You want to do the spicing while it's hot so that the hot um, spices, I mean, uh, so that while it's hot, then the spices stick to your potatoes. Guys, can you hear the crunch? Okay, like puppet chips, chips. So follow the techniques, wash the starch out. Um, make sure you soak it in cold water and someone DM'd and said can they do the same with chips you can most definitely do this technique with chips it works amazing. all right guys and that's our meal completed we've got parathas here someone asked me what I'm going to be serving it with definitely paratha um, we've got the mince sets here it's got lovely charcoal flavor and we've got the aloo fry all set. It's all in the crunch. Now chaat masala makes it.